Today, I'm excited to announce Dr. John Lipman as the 2024 Frederick S. Keller Philanthropy Award recipient. Dr. John Lipman is a board-certified interventional radiologist and renowned authority in the non-surgical treatment of uterine fibroids. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Lipman. The Frederick S. Keller MD Philanthropy Award honors an individual who demonstrates an outstanding commitment to the SIR Foundation and whose exceptional generosity inspires others to give. This year's recipient is Dr. John Lipman, founder and medical director of the Atlanta Fibroid Center and an adjunct clinical assistant professor in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the Morehouse School of Medicine. Dr. Lipman is a board-certified interventional radiologist and a renowned authority in the non-surgical treatment of uterine fibroids. He has fellowship status with both the American College of Radiology and SIR. Dr. Lipman received his master's and medical degrees from Georgetown University School of Medicine in 1985, followed by a residency in diagnostic radiology at Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School, and a vascular and IR fellowship at Yale New Haven Hospital, Yale University School of Medicine. Dr. Lippmann has delivered over 200 invited lectures to some of the most prestigious medical centers in the country and has served on the board of directors of the Medical Association of Atlanta and Cobb County Medical Society. He has been recognized by the state of Georgia for his work in uterine fibroids. John has made a world of difference to the practice of IR, particularly women's health, and as it pertains to managing women with uterine fibroids. He's not only been committed to service for this patient population, but also contributing to the literature. Fibroids affect 80% of women. That's a huge number of women suffering from fibroids. I think Dr. John Lippmann has sent this message out to the community that hysterectomy should not be the only option for fibroid treatment. There are other options. There are options like uterine fibroid embolization. I think what he's done recently is truly extraordinary to uh, come back and try to uh, foment a research environment that continues the work on uterine artery embolization and funded this big grant at the Society of Interventional Radiology Foundation. Dr. Lippmann currently serves on the Editorial Advisory Board of ShareCare, an interactive healthcare platform founded by Dr. Mehmet Oz and Jeff Arnold, creator of WebMD. He was an Atlanta Business Chronicle's Healthcare Hero of the Year and was on the list of Atlanta Magazine's top docs in Atlanta. He was also named 2019 Trailblazer Physician of the Year by the Atlanta Medical Association and received the 2021 Vanguard Award for Philanthropy from Morehouse School of Medicine. In October 2022, he was recognized by AmeriCorps and President Biden with a Lifetime Achievement Award for Outstanding Community Service. I've known John for decades and for those of you who know him, he's one of the most personable, humble, accessible, um, great individuals. He has a tremendous reputation that goes back to the early days of uterine artery embolization. You have always been a pioneer in clinical practice. You have always done what's best for patients. You are really a, a clinical visionary and seeing ways to provide interventional radiology care and ways for us to look at ourselves that uh, many of us weren't brave enough to do that. Dr. Lippmann is grateful for his wife, children, and many colleagues for their support and friendship through the years. Let's express appreciation for this year's Frederick S. Keller MD Award winner, Dr. John Lippmann. Well, to quote uh, a couple of the gold medal recipients from yesterday, wow, <laughs> very humbled and very grateful for this recognition. Thank you, SIR and SAR Foundation and their staff. Being mentioned alongside previous presidents of the SIR 
and icons of industry like John Abley and Eamon Hobbs truly is humbling. Uh, as I think about philanthropy, I realize my 10 years of Jesuit education was probably an important foundation for me. I remember in high school we learned about magis, which is the more universal good, and being a man for others. As I've gotten older, I find myself getting more nostalgic. Um, I don't fight the battles in the trenches anymore like I used to. I've put my weapons down, and instead I try to focus on using my strengths and spare time that I have, I try to use in serving others. Being in Atlanta and the epicenter of the civil rights movement, I've been inspired by reading some of the works of Martin Luther King Jr. He once gave a sermon to his parishioners in Montgomery, Alabama. The title of this sermon was Conquering Self-Centeredness. He stated, Find some great cause and some great purpose, some loyalty to which you can give yourself and become so absorbed in that something that you give your life to it. Treating women suffering with symptomatic fibroids, giving back their quality of life and saving many of these women from unnecessary hysterectomy and even having children afterwards was my great cause that I decided to dedicate my life to over 25 years ago. Dr. King concluded that sermon by saying, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you going to do for others? We have connected with a number of incredible philanthropic organizations in Atlanta, and I've had the privilege to work with some amazing individuals, and we've done some great work, and it's very gratifying. However, with respect to the SIR, espousing on the importance of philanthropy and the funding of IR research, maybe preaching to the choir. But before I get to that, if you'll indulge me just a little, I need to get, again, nostalgic. I need to thank two people in particular because, frankly, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance again. Barry Katzen and Irina Van Breda opened my eyes to the wonder of interventional radiology. They allowed me to do an elective with them 41 years ago as a second year medical student at Georgetown. They had fellows, but they had never had a medical student before. After doing an elective with them, I truly found my purpose for life, and I am so grateful for the two of them. And now that I'm on the back nine of my career, I feel it's time to focus on helping others any way I can. Martin Seligman, an American psychologist who talks about the five building blocks of well-being, with meaning being one of these. Happiness is fleeting and in the moment. Meaning is deeper and comes from belonging to and serving something beyond yourself and developing along the way the very best within you. Belonging to organizations like SIR, I had the opportunity to try to help fund much-needed research in uterine fibroids and adenomyosis, and at the same time recognize two outstanding interventional radiologists, Scott Goodwin and Jim Spees, that were so instrumental in bringing UFE to life and helped me fulfill my purpose. Everyone in this room has a passion for IR, and research is how we validate what we do and provides each of us our why in life. On his arrival in Mexico in 1519, the Spanish conquistador Cortes ordered his men to burn their boats, leaving them no option but to conquer the land or perish. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time we burn the boats. We all need to tell our great stories, and our society needs to help us amplify those voices on behalf of our patients. Whether it's fibroids, PAD, stroke, IO, the list goes on and on. We need to raise awareness for the specialty and the value we bring each and every day to our patients. Hopefully, this will lead to change in antiqui antiquated policies that limit our ability to care for some of these patients. We also cannot be held back 
by other specialties or even our diagnostic colleagues. We also need to donate our time and our money. Please consider contributing not only to the SIR Foundation, but to SIRPAC. Both of these organizations need and deserve our funding. We need representation at the legislative table, and SIRPAC is one of the ways we can help achieve this goal. Please commit to these goals today. Everyone in this room needs to participate, and there is no turning back. Thank you so much again for this outstanding award. I am truly grateful.